So me and the boy are over here at the burned down abandoned house, getting a trailer load of this stuff here. And I've got, this is the tallest stock that grew. So let's see, here's me, I'm six foot. So it went up about eight foot high and it's in the boot stage. And there's a the seed head. It'll set, I assume it's gonna flower for a while and then set hard seed, but there's about maybe 10% are in the boot stage. And that generally means that the whole crop is gonna start dropping nutritional quality in the leaves and in the stalks to put it all, all the energy into the seed. So it was time to cut it. I can only feed out so much. I, I don't have barrels. What I need is some drums, some food grade open top drums. But people want 40 bucks a drum now, which is to me outrageous. I'm gonna have to at some point pay it, but I just don't, I don't have the time or the money to be running around collecting drums. So this was an experimental crop, so I would know what to do next time. And uh, it's okay if I end up laying this down or disking it in or seeding into it and disking over the seed or mowing it, mulching it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I got my value out of learning, but I'm about to take that home, throw a good sized pile of it in for the pigs, throw a good sized pile in for the goats. Maybe I'll pack some into a garbage barrel and pack plastic over it and let it start to ensile. Maybe it'll save it, a, you know, maybe it'll get me a few days. I'm gonna have to figure out winter feed, but over here you can see there's a lot more yellow um, from whatever deficiencies in the soil. Some patches do better and some patches do worse. Some of it's yellow, some of it's green. And I'm not gonna fertilize, I don't own this place. I'm not gonna really make any kind of investment into land that I'm never gonna own. And I'm, the guy died, so I have no idea what's gonna happen to it in the future. But uh, I'll cut, you know, I'll plant what I can and cut what I can and make the best of it in the short term. Me coming around here slightly reduces how much riffraff happens over here since the word got out that the guy died. Not that you can harm him anymore. He's dead and his house is burned to the ground, so what are you going to do? But anyhow, that's what's going on today. Time to walk home and uh, go feed these pigs their dinner before they go to sleep for the night. Thanks for watching. Praise the Lord and God bless.